How are we doing, guys? Where are we at? The Franklin Zoo. Looking Franklin at the baby Zoo. hippo. Check out the hippo baby. The Franklin Zoo is one of two zoos in the greater Boston area. It's located at 1 Franklin Park Drive, kind of in the, the heart of Boston. So it can be a little confusing getting there, um, especially if you're not living in a city anymore, like us. <laughs> we live on um, kind of out in the middle of nowhere in Maine. And so we don't see a whole lot of traffic like what you would see in the greater Boston areas. If you're from the city, I'm sure you'll have no issues whatsoever getting in there. Once you get to the Franklin Zoo, there's actually two parking lots. There's the giraffe parking lot and the zebra parking lot. Either one is great. We actually parked at the zebra parking lot, which I'm glad that we did go in right there. It wasn't that far. We walked, I would say, probably half a block at most to get in there. The parking is free. Once again, another savior because, as you know, sometimes parking at some of these places can be about as much as a ticket. With that being said, the park is open year-round, so you can visit now. You can visit in November or the heart of December if you really have your heart set on it. The hours are slightly different. Uh, weekdays are 10 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. Weekends um, are extended just a little bit, so 10 a.m. to 5.45 p.m., which gives you, you know, quite a bit of time to check out the zoo. Now, I will say, with COVID still being prevalent, you will notice that you have to make a reservation beforehand, whether you are buying tickets or whether you are a member. Either way, you need to plan ahead for this, and there are only 90 minute slots for now until, you know, COVID has died down and then we're all able to go back to normal. The tickets are $21.95 per adult and $14.95 for kids up from, I wanna say ages three to 17. Children two and under are free as they are in most places. So if you have some toddlers, definitely save some money there. The route that we took is we actually have the family membership. So that covers for two adults and four kids. If you know from our other videos, it's us two adults and we have three kids. So that works out really well for us. Now it actually covers both zoos in the Boston area. So the Stone Zoo and the Franklin Zoo. So when we went, we actually booked them back to back so that we were able to go to both zoos in the same day. For us, having to drive two and a half hours to a zoo is well worth it but we might as well, you know, make a whole day of it. So that worked out really well. Now, when you get into the zoo, if you need a stroller and you're unable to pack one, or if you have a family member that may need a wheelchair, they do rent those out right there at the front, just for a nominal fee. I wanna say they're between five and $20, depending on what it is that you're renting. The Franklin Zoo is a little bit smaller zoo, but it does have some great animals. One of the first animals you see at the Franklin Zoo is the red panda. And red pandas are one of our family's favorites. They're just such awesome little creatures. When we went there, he was there and he was snacking on some food. It was so cute. And there's a glass barrier in front of you, but he's really close to you. He's like from me to maybe, uh, you know, 10 feet away or so when I'm taking these pictures in this video. And so it's a nice view of him and you can definitely check him out. Uh, Chloe and all the kids definitely love the red pandas. We've got to see him a couple times, but this is the closest we've got to see red pandas. So definitely check out the red panda while you're here. The Franklin Zoo also had a couple big cats. So they had a lion exhibit with two lions in it. That was pretty cool to see. It was uh, set up almost where you could like, if it wasn't during COVID right now, there's like a Jeep you could get in almost like you're driving through an African safari or whatnot. So it's set up in kind of a scene and then it has this big tree that you go into um, and they were right there on the glass. The glass was a little scratched up from them. So it looks like maybe, you know, you couldn't get perfect pictures and stuff as you can see. And they were just being lazy lions like they are normally, but definitely up close and personal with a couple lions, which is really neat. And then right after the lions, you walk down and then there's a tiger exhibit. And the tiger exhibit was just one tiger, but it was a really cool looking tiger. He got to come right up along the edge and stuff and walk around. So um, it was definitely cool to see that tiger as well. Definitely love the big cats whenever we're at the zoos. I mean, one thing about some of the other zoos that we've, we go to is you don't always have big cats. So it's definitely nice that they have those kind of classic big cats and some of the classic zoo animals at the Franklin Zoo, even if it isn't the biggest zoo you've ever seen. Now, my personal highlight was the gorillas because gorillas are really cool. You don't see them everywhere. But in this case, there's a baby gorilla. And so when you have a baby gorilla or any kind of baby animal, it really makes the exhibit just that much better. Now we first walked in and I didn't think it was actually that cool. We just saw one gorilla kind of sitting there by himself. He didn't look all that excited to be there. As we walked around the other side, that's when we saw the two gorillas and the baby gorilla. The mom was uh, nursing and carrying the baby around. And what a cute little baby. So um, that was definitely something that you want to check out really soon because that baby is not going to be 
young for very long. Speaking of babies, one of the other really cute things was they had a pygmy hippo baby. They had the mama hippo right there with the little baby hippo, and that was really close up. That was really cool to see. I don't think I've ever seen a baby hippo anywhere. So you definitely want to check that out. And then as we walked around the corner, uh, the Papa Hippo was still there. He was just kind of hanging out by himself. But it was really neat to see a baby hippo. So cute. Um, I would have stayed there for even longer if we went around on these like 90 minute kind of limitations in the zoos right now. They also had zebras at the zoo. They also had a couple giraffes at the zoo. That was really cool. So kind of classic animals that you might see. They had a lot of different birds. Um, they had some like emus. They had a kangaroo, which I could barely see, um, which is kind of sad to not be able to see him because I like kangaroos. Um, they had a lot of like cranes and different kind of birds, which are neat if you're into those. It did seem almost a little repetitive with the birds. Um, now, one of the weird things to see at a zoo that was so good, I've seen them before having okay playgrounds, but this place had like a huge playground. Like this playground at the zoo was probably one of the biggest playgrounds I've seen really anywhere. Um, so I wouldn't say take your kids to the zoo to go to the playground, but if you're already at the zoo and you want to let them burn some energy out while you're walking around, definitely a nice playground. Um, I would say definitely want to spend some time there. And then kind of like a classic petting zoo type area. It wasn't the, as good as it normally would be because of COVID, so you couldn't like go in and pet the animals. But, you know, you get to see some kind of classic barnyard animals in there as well. Um, and so that was kind of a good experience if you don't get to see those on a normal basis. Now, we did get a membership to the zoo, so we're definitely going back again. And one thing we're looking forward to that wasn't open yet is there's a butterfly exhibit. Um, so we could see that there, but it wasn't open. There's no butterflies in it yet. Um, so sometime, maybe the spring or summer, Hopefully we'll have an update and we'll uh, show you guys that butterfly exhibit as well. Now something we didn't get to see last time, but we're looking forward to next time. I think it's already open is there's an Aussie aviary for birds and you can have, you have to pay extra for a little cup of food, um, but it's probably worth paying for that cup. And it looks like a really cool exhibit where you can just see some neat birds that you wouldn't see normally. So definitely check that out. If you check that out, if it's open, um, it is seasonal for sure. Just like the butterflies though. The other big issue that a lot of people want to know about when they go to visit is about food and drinks. Can you bring them? Well, the great thing about these zoos is that, yes, at the Franklin Zoo, you absolutely, you can bring your own drinks, you can bring your own food, um, you know, with exceptions. Obviously, there's no alcohol allowed inside of the zoo, and they prefer you don't bring glass into the zoo just in case an accident happens. Now, they also have a couple of cafes in there with food if you'd rather go that route they have some pizza some hot dogs hamburgers um, you know all the family and child friendly foods that you could think of including the dippin dots ice cream which chloe is wild about great to have it's pretty pricey um, it's like going to a movie theater i'm sure you can imagine a movie theater walt disney any of those types of places it's going to be a little bit more expensive we generally try to pack our lunches to any places that we are allowed to. So we just made a picnic basket up, brought some food, brought our own drinks. And that way you save just a few more dollars as well. Especially, you know, if you're trying to make a trip on a budget. The only thing that they do ask is make sure you clean up all your trash afterwards. They have picnic tables there and there are trash receptacles by all of them. So make sure you clean up and recycle and take care of all of your things so that you know, other people can continue to enjoy the zoo, and also no animals happen to be getting into that. In conclusion, I really enjoyed the Franklin Zoo. I've been to zoos all over the country. Um, I did not always live in Maine, so I've been to the Detroit Zoo, the Denver Zoo, the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, uh, the other zoo actually in Boston, the Stone Zoo, which you should check out our video on that one as well. I've been to all of them. The Franklin Zoo is actually really charming. It had some really cool animals, my favorite being the red panda, um, which was also Chloe's favorite as well. The other really cool thing I enjoyed about the Franklin Zoo was how many babies they had there right now. So the hippo baby and the little gorilla babies were definitely up there as my top favorites. They were so sweet, and it's really great to watch the parents with them just to kind of see how they parent. You know, they're young. It's always just a little bit different from species to species. If you want to go and you know, you want to get some of the sunshine, I would say check out the Franklin Zoo. And it's well worth it to get that membership for them so you can go to the Stone Zoo as well. Book those back to back. You have a whole day planned for your family at a really reasonable price. Throw yourself together a lunch and some drinks. They've got an amazing playground at the Franklin Zoo. You can just go ahead and actually they have a picnic table right in there. You can sit down, enjoy your lunch, let the kids run around and burn off some of that energy. If you guys think of any other zoos in the country you've had any questions on or curious if we've been to it before, 
definitely shoot us out a comment. We'd love to hear about it. We can either visit them or there's a possibility we already have. And we'd love to go ahead and give you our review on it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Ring that bell and subscribe. Have a great day. Hey guys, we really appreciate you watching. If you like the videos, please smash that like button down below. If you want to be notified when you get new... I see I mess it up and then I have to redo it every time. Okay, so anyway, I already told you to like. So if you want to see more videos that we keep making, please subscribe as well. Hit that bell as well. We're going to keep making zoo reviews. We've got memberships to the Stone Zoo as well as the Franklin Zoo. So keep looking for updates on those. We're also going to have a Mother's Day guide. We're also going to have a Mother's Day gift guide coming out. So take a look for that as well coming up soon. And we want to see you come back. If you have comments about where you want to... In the comments below, let us know what kind of view... I can't see. I keep getting flustered. <laughs> let us know in the comments below what kind of videos you want us to keep seeing. Or you want us to keep making or whatever. I can't do it. I'm so... I lost it. We'll have something there we'll be able to use, I'm sure. Like this or something. I'm pretty sure I said like and subscribe too. So even if you want to just cut apart pieces of your conclusion, you can. Are you guys still here? If you're still still here, then let's take a look at this little panda for a minute. If you like that little panda, once again, you should like the video. <laughs> I'm not gonna say bye. This panda's too cute. The panda can only hold out for so long. Yeah, I'm kind of All right, I give in. Bye. <laughs>